What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Model WordPress Teams and in today's video you're gonna learn how to make your website faster in a simple, fast, effective and free method. So we're gonna learn how to install Breeze WordPress plugin that is one of the best free WordPress cache plugins that we have. Cache is very important, it's a way to optimize our site, a way to optimize our page, a way to make things load faster, okay? So, go to your WordPress dashboard, review the left sidebar of menus and hover a mouse over plugins. And once you do this, click into the submenu, add new plugin, okay? Into the upper right corner of your screen, next to search plugins field, you're gonna be able to find an empty field. Click right here and type breeze, just like this. And here is the guy that we're looking for, by Cloudways, okay? Click on install now. Click into the activate button. This is gonna redirect you to the plugins list, a list where you can see all of the present plugins on your site, okay? And now review the left sidebar of menus once again on your WordPress dashboard. Hover mouse over settings, normally is next to two and the very last menu of your WordPress dashboard. And now we're gonna be able to find a new submenu, call it Breeze. Here are all of the options of the plugin. Starting with basic options, by default, the plugin gives you a couple of options already enabled. Cache system, mobile cache, purge cache after, this is in minutes, okay? So, you can type as many minutes as you wish, okay? Up to you. Normally, right here is set to be one day. Gzip compression, this is really, really important. Browse cache, also really important, so keep this all enabled. Now, we have lazy load up to you, okay? You can do the frame lays low, the video, this is gonna make the image loads, loads in a way that do not affect the site performance. Cross origin, site links, up to you. And you can cache login thing page, for example, for authors, for subscribers, for customers, up to you, okay? After doing the change, click into the save change button, okay? Now, let's explore the file optimization. Here is a very important part. For the settings, may pay attention, okay? You're gonna set this as on, to magnify HTML. Scroll down to the very bottom, save changes. Now, go to your site page, view the site as the user, view the site on your phone, view the site into wherever you want, to check if you do not broke any section of your site, because minify HTML, the plugin may minify some important HTML, okay? So, review the site. If it's all right, minify CSS. Repeat the process, okay? Up to you, but as soon as you set on, save change and review the process. And the same gonna repeat for every single part right here, okay? JS, same way. So. You can see the options right here to combine, to include in line, up to you, okay? I recommend that you set on and as many options as you can without breaking your site, okay? We have the preload option. We can preload web font, preload links. This is a great feature. And we can prefetch of DNS requests entering the URLs right here. We have advanced options to never cache some URLs, okay, some important pages, like for example, your cart page, your checkout page of, of an e-commerce, the account page of an e-commerce, so these pages cannot be cached. We have some strings, emoji, you can disable in the case that you want, host files locally, up to you, okay, up to you, API integrations, We have the Heartbeat API, Control Heartbeat, Heartbeat Front End, you can disable, Heartbeat Editor, and Heartbeat Back End. We have some database optimization, we can, for example, change some repeated content, some stored content, okay? We can apply CDN features right here. You can set up the CDN right here, okay? In the case that we are using one, for example, Cloudflare. 
have the varnish options okay here is some more advanced tab nothing to worry we have some extra tools like export import reset and we have some important fa keys so right here you can learn more about the plugin learn more about possible issues and how to solve the issues so i recommend that you take a moment to read and review the replies for those questions okay so it is simple easy very effective just remember okay don't use two cache plugins one cache plugin per site choose yours activate set it up in the case i want to test another remove the previously added one okay this is very important if you guys enjoyed this video feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question i'm gonna be happy in talking to you and please don't forget to check out our borderless wordpress plugin the best free wordpress plugin that when you install you gain widgets elements templates and tools to build up your site using elementor gutenberg wp bakery and many many more extra features all for free downloaded on wordpress.org in addition we for enzo wordpress team a team that gives you pre-built up sites that you can import with a single click also downloaded on wordpress.org it's the best free wordpress team moreover in the case that I want to submit your blog for receiving and publishing as posts or to find a blog to collaborate with, go to growth with 3 wsnet and find a collaborator or a old trash right here, okay? In addition, in the case that I want to promote your site, your app, your landing page, your game design, go to sites.gallery. You can submit your blog for free, you can submit your site for free, your app, your game, okay? You can be promoted right here on our CSS gallery. And finally, in the case that you want to go premium while doing your site, go to visualmoto.com and purchase the Visual Moto Pass and go premium. So you're going to have access to all our WordPress themes, plugins, icons, templates, assets, and of course, hundreds of pre-built websites that you can import with a single click. In addition for pre-built templates, icons, widgets, blocks, and many, many more tools to create the site of our dreams. And that is, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I see you tomorrow. All the best.